Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Lawrence Philip, aka DJ Random. I am also an instructor at SAE Jakarta for the electronic music production course. So today we're gonna talk a little bit about Serum. So yeah, so let's just get started. Let's make something growling. By the way, this tutorial, I'm not trying to create like a specific sound or trying to emulate someone's sound, but it's more like getting you guys started on how to create like a basic. Uh, growling sound and then after that I would rather you guys just explore what you guys can do with this because that's how you guys gonna get good if I give you guys like an exact step by step like oh I wanna make something that sounds like a sub focus or I wanna make something that sounds like mm, Proxima or something like that then you know you guys just not gonna learn too much from it because then you guys just gonna be depending on the tutorial too much so i am much rather show you like kind of like the basic way of how this works and you guys can explore okay so let's just get started first thing that we gotta do is just initialize this preset so when you initialize this is what you get something like this what's cool about serum is actually you just got tons of waveform and what's even cooler is you can actually just drop any wave in here and you can use that as your waveform you can use any sound any sample that you have drop it there you can, it can be vocal it can be it can be a pad it can be an effect it can be like literally anything so you can basically create any sound you can imagine which is really awesome but anyway since this is just kind of like basic basic tutorial to make like a growling sound so let's just start with something pretty basic you know I'm just gonna go with analog so yeah so let's just start with something pretty basic I'm just gonna go with this GNO so you have like a pretty basic basic sound right there so what's cool about this is that you have this weight position you can choose all the different waveform that's available in that particular if you move all of this so like if you look at on the side if I change it so the waveform constantly changing and what's cool is you can actually modulate these okay let's just use that one beginning and then let's go with this no one octave and then we let's just detune it you go with the unison and see how many voice you want to use so so I go with five easily and then and you instantly have this really really nice detune sound and then we can just see how much detune we want to do by lowering this and then this blend is kind of like if you see that yellow that's your main sound and then there's like the other sound so we can just blend it let's go with that so we have a nice and even uh, sound okay and then the next thing that I want to do is let's just add a sub in there and then in sub what's cool is like you have all this different waveform but let's just stick with the standard sign and then let's just lower it one so suddenly you just have this like a really really nice and thick sound so the next thing that I want to do is let's just filter this and then in here you say A so that means it's uh, the filter from us uh, so oscillator A is being routed here and if we want the sub here it, which is that that would be just activate the S okay so now if you want to make it growling we have to modulate it so uh, let's just modulate it with the LFO so and this if you're familiar with massive it works exactly like massive so you see all this cross and you just drag it and drop it in there so if you play it now it's basically it's being modulated by this and this is much better than massive because you can actually see what modulation does so that's pretty cool okay so now that we get that modulation let's make like some really really cool sound so it's quite easy actually you just have to move things around right here See what you can do something like that, which is pretty cool. And then you just double click these and you can add another point. So what I want to do is let's just create something along this line. And then if you want this to restart every time you press key, so it's trigger restart. 
So, so you already got like a pretty nice growling sound. Well, it's not that nice yet. And the filter, you have this drive, so you can just make it this. So that sounds pretty nice, and then you can just fatten it up. Like that. Remember when I was talking about how we can kind of like modulate these? So what we can do is let's double click this so you can see it clearly. And then let's modulate it with LFO2. So put it here. And then let's see how that sounds. Which is, that sounds pretty cool. And then the next thing is, uh, let's thicken it up. So let's turn on the oscillator B. And then let's go with the analog again. Let's go with the mini bass. Let's go with uh, one octave lower. And then let's go with mini son five. Let's detune it a little bit. And then let's route this oscillator B to the filter. And then just for fun, let's do this. And then now let's go to the effect section, which is right up here. And then let's widen it up. And then we go with hyper slash dimension. So what I'd like to do is just go with the dimension for now. Let's make the size a little bit smaller. And then what I'd like to do is add a little bit of reverb. And what I like to do is I use hall, but let's make the decay really short, maybe less than one second. It's about that. And then size is slightly smaller. Okay, so basically that's kind of like your first idea, but I'm not really loving this part, so let's go with. Um, this one. And then let's create some MIDI clip in there. Let's quantize these. Make it make it a legato. You know, I'm still not too crazy with that. I think let's just let's turn this off. Okay, yeah, um let's just turn off this modulator. And then let's go with something that's more uh, bright saw. But let's turn off this modulator. And then we want this to be a little bit. Just by doing something real quick like that, we already make like some really, really nice and thick growling lead. As a, as a good example, I mean, we can make like all kind of crazy sound by just switching around the the actual waveform. <laughs> So basically it's all up to you guys to just like uh, explore okay that's pretty much how you make like a growling sound on serum by the way if you guys have any requests on how to make certain sound just put down your requests in the comment below thank you for tuning in guys and we'll see you on the next tutorial I'll be there.